Okay, day 33 of the MCO, it's Sunday. 6.59, in uh, about 20 seconds, the alarm will be deactivated automatically. So I just want to see whether it's going to happen. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Did you hear that? That's my alarm being deactivated. So it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I am absolutely exhausted. Um, I wish I could just go back to bed and go to sleep. Uh, but I can't. So even me lying down on my sofa here is just for a short while before I start the day. Uh, but I got to tell you, I'm feeling very unenergetic today. Feeling very um, uh, meh, I think that's the word. So I don't know what I'm going to vlog about, but here are some uh, clips from yesterday, day 32, that I couldn't fit into the day 32 vlog because it would have just been too long. So have a look at this. <laughs> Somebody had uh, attempted to break into the office which is opposite to my office uh, and that was a scary sight to see. They had managed to um, umpil the front grill um, and, uh, but they were not able to, to open the, the grill that opens from the bottom. Uh, my office was safe uh, because my office doesn't have a front grill. It has the, the, the grill that opens from the bottom and I think it's quite secure. Uh, the other offices have it too. Uh, I think actually the office that was, uh, the, the office in front of mine is secure. They just added the front grill, uh, I suppose, for additional security purposes. So I've already contacted my neighbour and told him. Uh, what to do, we've already contacted our landlord. Uh, I think this is going to be a real major problem. If anybody were to attempt to open the door, the alarm will go off and a signal will be sent to me and it will take me, if I take the car, uh, it will take me about uh, maybe two or three minutes to get from my house to my office. Uh, but it's still uh, a few weeks ago, uh, somebody tried to break into my house, they opened this uh, grill and opened this door as well. Uh, and um, because I have a sensor, um, the lights in my bedroom went out, went off, sorry, uh, uh, went on. And I realized I went downstairs and they were running away and I literally caught them running away. That's annoying, it's really irritating. <music> for the thunder and lightning to stop before we switch it back on. I don't like not having electricity. I don't like the blackout. I never liked it, even when I was little. When we had blackout when I was young, I always asked my dad to take me out and go on the, in the car and just go out anywhere. So every year, it's kind of like tradition that I uh, give uh, wakuma to our neighbours. Uh, something that I've done ever since I moved here five or six years ago. 
and it's part of my effort to be neighborly. Right. Oh, kasih, Everything okay? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, uh, the I punya pintu yang yang shutter tu kan, so that's a little bit difficult to oh, umpel lah. So my neighbor Faiza, the tuition centre, dia ada the same shutter, tapi depan dia letak grill. The grill was the one day they okay. umpel. Oh. Okay, take okay, care. Okay. Selamat berpuasa. Everybody healthy? Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Be good to your neighbors. Uh, my number one golden rule uh, do to others what you want to be done to yourself. Okay, so I want to do a quick vlog about this. One of the things I'm focusing on today is content. Content, there are two parts of content, content development and content delivery. What I've learned, I learned this from Gary V, that when you are doing this internet type of virtual sessions, you gotta, there's a balance to be achieved between education and entertainment. A lot of education with little or no entertainment, people are just going to check out and get disengaged. And, um, uh, and, and that's when a uh, uh, session tends to be draggy. Uh, so too much entertainment and little or no education, then there's no value in having that session. So I have to come up with a way of balancing the educational part and the entertainment part so my sessions are not going to be longer than one hour hopefully uh, but within that one hour i have to incorporate breaks and energizers and teasers a lot more than i would at the physical workshop um, so and and i have to be conscious of the fact that sometimes my participants will just be looking at the video and they won't be displaying their video so i have to get them to to, to start uh, taking over some of the sessions and giving people, giving us the uh, an insight into what they are experiencing or what they are learning. The worst thing that can happen is if I just go off in my own way and just start blabbing around and think that I'm such a hot shot and nobody is getting anything. And, and even worse is that because they're not displaying the video, they're not actually in front of their a camera and they're doing something else with the audio on so they're not really uh, capturing everything so I have to find energizers maybe do maybe take a two or three minute break and ask them to watch a video or tell a joke or do a quiz and you know somebody uh, shared with me why do you use an app called Kahoot which is a quiz type of application so we're looking into all this today next week I have uh, uh, two sessions every day, Monday to Friday, morning and afternoon, with the same group, mind you. And then I, on top of that, I have uh, three uh, virtual uh, sessions with three separate teams. Um, so not next week is going to be pretty content heavy. And on top of that, I have to. There's all these videos that I have to upload, which I want to upload. Uh, so, keeping busy. So, I have to get back to work. See you later. Okay, I've sorted out all my web conferencing technical uh, issues. Uh, would be really great. Take a look at this. Alright. Guess what? Uh, we have finally made it through towards getting some level of uh, uh, mastery on OBS Studio. Well, just a little bit because check this out. When I'm ready, I can start showing the video right now. Hey, how are you doing? 
uh, and uh, this is the power of OBS Studio. I can switch. This is the primary source, which is the video of me using the A6400 16mm f1.4 lens. And when I want to, I can then switch to just showing the slides. And the slides will be uh, whatever it is that I choose to put up there. So I can show there, I can show there, I can show there, and that. And I can even type things. like this uh, which is very cool but even cooler if I want to I have this view which is me and the slides Hang on, let me show hey so this is me and this is the slide uh, have a wallpaper uh, just to give me a little break when I want to scratch my uh, scratch my nose or pick my nose or yawn uh, and I can just go there and when I'm ready I'll go back to this view or this view or this view this is OBS studio and it is awesome uh, and I'm so thankful to everybody on YouTube uh, that I've been studying for the last six hours in getting me this far I think we are 90% ready to go with our first uh, online session tomorrow. Wow, this is why I'm at the 17 end of the uh, 17 to 28 with my A7 III full frame. So that's given me, wow, push that out a bit. Okay. So end of week, day 33 of the movement control order. Uh, this is the 19th, we have uh, 9 days to go uh, and um, I want to see, haven't found out what is the status of the number of positive cases identified today uh, and uh, let's see what happens. So thanks for watching. If you or interested to know more about what I'm doing then please do subscribe to my YouTube channel because I aim to vlog every day during this MCO period because I think it's going to be a great fantastic way of looking back and uh, being able to witness my life thanks a lot I would really appreciate it and see you tomorrow